talented musicians, and we're so lucky to have the both of you here. So I'd like to introduce Young Wei from Yo-Yo Ma's Silk Road Ensemble, and you are joining us in Providence uh, for with Aurea's Ensemble series, and Consuelo Serva is here. Uh, and so you guys are performing this weekend, and so looking forward to having a preview of that performance. Can you tell me a little bit about how you're putting this together, and how it all came to be? Sure. First of all, I'm delighted that we're here. Um, I met Young Wei, I think, two years ago, um, because the Samaritans wanted to have uh, an event, and they contacted him, and Denise Panicha said, I think you should meet this man. Uh, why don't you come? And so we immediately you know, became friends, and he said, I think I have music that would be interesting to you for viola and pipa and string quartet and pipa. I said, well, that, sure, I'll look at that. And um, we played not with Aurea, but uh, we did a concert at Newport last year. And after that, we decided we really wanted to do a real Aurea program that would combine the cultures and use poetry of these different cultures as well. And so it wouldn't just be Asian music. Um, so we're going to have music of Maurice Ravel, which will be the, probably the most commonplace name you'll hear. And then we're also going to be playing music of Lou Harrison, an American composer who was very taken with um, Asian culture, jazz, um, folk idioms of all over, and he uses it in his music. And he wrote a concerto for pipa and strings. But he's an American composer, and he was a writer, so we used some of his poetry. And um, so Wei and I talked uh, over the phone. He's in Chicago, I'm here. And whenever we could see each other, we would go over some things. But he had an idea of um, a piece that you can tell him about, the Jujana, uh, for string quartet and pipa. And um, he had some traditional pieces. And then we have a harmonica player that's very interested in traditional musics. And so they just met yesterday, and they went over some things, and so they're coming up with some improvisations. So it's kind of, yeah, it's just fun. Maybe. You... Yeah, tell us a little bit about the pipa, and I've seen some of what you do. Tell us a little bit about the instrument and some of the work and what people can expect to hear. The pipa is a very traditional Chinese instrument, about 2,000 years history in China. But it's not originally born in China. Actually, this instrument also, as a traveler uh, from our west, actually original from Persia. And uh, along the ancient Triton route called the Silk Road, came to China. Stayed there for 2,000 years. We consider this a traditional Chinese instrument. It has uh, four strings uh, made by uh, hardwood and uh, lots of uh, stuff. It's, they came with uh, bamboo. Uh, Lots of different material make this instrument. And because I think this is not really traditional Chinese instrument, supposed to be with the world, whatever it's possible to be. And also, as I am immigrant to the States a uh, long time ago, and uh, this is a great way to communicate with the world. And uh, also, nowadays, information is so quickly to get together the musician uh, around the world. So I'm lucky to have Consuelo as my friend and uh, introduce me to uh, her group and uh, work with uh, this kind of uh, wonderful music. I'm very happy. We feel the same way. It's, and we're, we're so excited to have you in Providence. Uh, let's talk a little bit about um, what you're going to play for us. You're going to give us a preview of the music that you're going to play this weekend. Okay. Well, actually, the first piece we're going to play, we're not playing for you on the concert, but that's even just better. Yeah, it's even better because even better. you need to come to the concert. Um, but it's a beautiful piece uh, that Wei had, Rainbow Dance, and maybe you want to tell them a little bit about it. Yeah, this is the ancient piece played only in the uh, Emperor's Court. As a dancer, describes the dancer, the delicacy, and uh, this is the very ancient melody, though. It's, uh, 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 I don't know when exactly I uh, have written this kind of history, but we know the Tang Dynasty uh, uh, Emperor Li Shimin had uh, used that as element for his, uh, the, the huge, uh, 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 the kind of, uh, the big play at the Emperor's uh, 
thousand years ago. Oh, I'm so looking forward to it. Okay, well, I'm going to step out of the way and let you do it. Okay, thank you. So it's originally for Erhu, 
<laughs> which is uh, it's so wonderful. See, the, the music is a universal That's language. Exactly you did right. such a wonderful. I love it. The sound <laughs> is you. so touching. I love yeah. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So that's the thing. The cultures they all sort of mix together. There's right, really right. No, it's pretty hard to just stop and say this only came from this. So it speaks directly to the heart. It's a very lovely piece, I think. It's it's so moving, so powerful. How do you think collaborations like this are really important as we move through times like now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. As a musician, like uh, I'm a Chinese and came to this country. Not many people know this instrument. Everywhere I go, it's like, uh, oh, I'm a musician. People say, good, what do you play? A pipa. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. So I'm very happy that the result like this, the first uh, work that did this, I was like thrilled. Wow, this is finally. And I could always have a dream, that the dream become true. This like this. <laughs> but I also think it's, it is very important in our times um, as Wei said, the world is getting smaller in a certain way. We can communicate with each other so easily across huge expanses of space. Um, and I think it's important to show how related we are. We are the human race, you know, we are a human race. And so we have to show the connections more than the divisions. And, you know, that's never more apparent than right now, obviously. So we're delighted to be doing this. I mean, you know, you'll hear in the Ravel string quartet, I mean, he loved these Eastern cultures and he was totally taken with it and he uses it in his music so seamlessly and beautifully. It's hard to say what, after a while, it's his music. French music is imbued with this Asian flavor. It's also imbued with jazz, you know? And so well, how do you just, you know, demarcate that? You really can't. All these influences, they're human influences. Um, and culture is, you know, has to do with how humans relate on so many different levels. So I think it's absolutely essential. It's the best way I can think of, you know, working with people across all spans. So yeah. Lovely. Also, just only one thing I really think because we listen to each other. Yeah. Nowadays, it's supposed to be right. This is probably the good way. Listen to each other and know what you really think. And also, we brought something. It's unusual for here. But when you listen, you really understand what you are talking about. So well said. Can we listen to one more piece? You're going to play your solo, the battlefield piece, and this, or, or another piece. You can uh, do something uh, else, whatever you want, or you could do the. You tell them what you're going to do. Okay. We're going to <laughs> Whichever one. one. And uh, listen to so one more song. Oh, okay. I, I'm not prepared. I need to practice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I just play short version of that uh, battle piece that we're all going to on the uh, uh, concert. It's uh, the ancient battle uh, field. Uh, it's talking about 202 BC. Two very uh, ambitious generals want to rule the dynasty. They fought for many years. That piece describes the last battle, and uh, the conqueror become the Han Dynasty first emperor. Okay. Yeah, this is the real thing. So it's interesting that uh, using many uh, effects for describe that the world, such as uh, the weapons contact. And uh, the uh, the horse's name, and uh, the wagon fall from the wagon, and, uh, they ride. and the soldiers shouting. Oh, yeah, something like this, and uh, this is the traditional piece. And I play short. Okay. <laughs>
you so you. much. Thank oh you. my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I cannot wait to thank you so much for coming in. This thank is you, absolutely it's a my fantastic. Pleasure. It's a my pleasure. I, I think the PIPA has a new newfound freedom. I think every kid is going to sign up and want to play this. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've just made a rock star. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank this you, has been yeah. amazing. We're going to get a little more information on how you can get to, um, tickets to come see yes, this performance. Yes, please come. <laughs> okay, so we're going to scoot you out. All right, thank so you. So thank, thank you so much thank you, to thank you. Young Wei and to Consuelo Serba for that amazing performance. I have chills. Kathleen is here. We have here. a new Peepa fan. Uh, this Peepa <laughs> is amazing. My face is uh, hurts from smiling so much. Um, so amazing. So Kathleen's here from First Works. Let's talk a little bit about how people can come see this because how fortunate are we? I'm going to scroll well, a little this, bit and have you this two This is two. the weekend. So we're very, very excited to have Area Ensemble and Consuelo bring a, a new production to First Works Frontier Series. And it's this Sunday at 2 p.m at St. Martin's Church, which is Orchard Avenue near Wayland Square. And you can get tickets at the door or at first-works.org online, first-works.org online. So um, this is, you know, you were you were just saying there are going to be all sorts of kids who right. are now playing the pipa. And when um, Yan Wei was last with us as part of First Works Arts Learning, I have this moment that just, I'll, I'll never forget at Hope High School where he was playing and one of the students said, I have something I want to share. And he came up with his guitar and the student played and then they jammed together. So, neat. so the pipa and the guitar. And I, I, I think that as, as we look at all the issues of immigration and, and divisiveness, the, the richness that we experience and the, that the piece that they put together, Crossings, for Sunday brings us is just, it's wonderful for spring, it's wonderful for these times, and, and we're, we're so glad to play a part at First Works in, in all the creativity that's, that's coming together. And really offering this for the community as a continued effort by First Works. Right, right. I think as we um, build our artistic icon series, and this is the Frontier series, which is is really focused on you know new explorations, and and then go into in June PVD Fest. So that'll be uh, taking place over four days, June first through fourth. Um, it, it all has that that kind of same mission to connect art with audiences and I love that we do that with both really amazing guests and the incredible richness and knowledge you just heard from Consuelo, you know, spanning Ravel and Lou Harrison who's American amazing. and, you know, amazing kind of uh, Asian Chinese music all coming together. I, I love the description of Araya as a performance ensemble with a superb string quartet at its heart. I and love it. yeah, um, they, they just are kind of the epicenter for some amazing talents. Um, Chris Turner on the harmonica has just you know, blown our minds for years and, and, and it's a so, virtuoso. And know? it's so great too to be able to have the partnerships and the collaboration with so many different people, not only in our community, but bringing people in uh, from all walks of life and from all cultures and from all over the world. So Right, and that's been at the heart of First Works. Exactly. We're in our 13th year and, and it's collaborating with schools and artists and the city and just, you know, together we're, we're really a rising tide. And we love it. Good. And we're so we glad to have coming. you here. <laughs> and we love having you here. Thanks, so, Mama. Kathleen, thank you so much. We are wrapping things up on Go Local Live. So, if you are interested in part of uh, getting tickets, so you heard from Kathleen on how you can do that uh, from um, uh, Reyes Ensemble Presents Crossings. It is this weekend, Sunday, April 23rd. So, I'd like to thank uh, Young Wei again and Consuelo again for that amazing performance. Um, and looking forward to hearing more from.